Hello guys, welcome back to another Tiger Steve Tech video. Now, last year I did this video where I claimed to have found the solution to upgrading to Windows 10 from XP without losing any files, and it was in the end it was just changing the desktop background. And I kind of do feel bad about that because I'm not a clickbaiter, or at least I don't want to be a clickbaiter, um, and I really feel bad about making clickbait content. So today I'm going to redeem myself and actually do it for real. Um, so what I'm going to be doing basically is installing on top of Windows XP or installing Windows Vista onto Windows XP. Now this is going to allow me to install Windows 7 on top of Vista and then install 10 on top of 7, which you know it will work out pretty well because we will not lose our files when we install from Vista on top of 7 and we don't I don't think we need a real product key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my um uh, uh, my Windows uh, Vista ISO so um, I now inserted my Windows Vista ISO I'm just gonna hit install now um, it's going to um, now of course on a, on a real computer I would not recommend for you to do this because chances are if it's still running XP it's not gonna be able to run 10 um, unless you downgraded from something to um, and no, I'm not going to make my, um, to, um, I'm not going to, um, install updates because we're not going to stay on this. To install Vista without a product key, we just hit next. Um, and then we hit no because we're not going to stay on it anyway, so we don't have to activate it. We now have to use, um, I think we have to use business, um, out of the professional, um, we have to check this box down here. Um, we have to select business, I think, um, because that corresponds to professional. Hit next. Um, accept the license terms because. And hit the upgrade button. Now remember, in your actual um, Windows installation, you're going to have to insert your CD or your USB with your ISO on it, um, and you're going to have to. Um, you're gonna have to run setup.exe if it doesn't auto run. You're gonna have to run setup.exe from the um, USB or your CD or DVD. Um, you're gonna have to run the setup.exe file and um, from inside of your Windows XP installation. Otherwise, the upgrade option will not be available, and you're gonna have to delete your files. Um, so right now, I'm just gonna wait for the installation to finish. Um, and I'll see you back here in when the installation's finished. So I'm now in Windows Vista, and none of my drivers are actually working um, because the virtual, uh, the VMware um, drivers are just not working. Maybe it's a VMware player issue, but, um, but you know, especially when you're upgrading to Windows 10, after you finish upgrading, you're gonna have to reinstall your drivers for all of your devices, such as your sound card, your internet. Um, connection interface, your network um, interface, your Wi-Fi card, or your Ethernet card. You're also going to have to reinstall drivers for a lot of other stuff like your graphics card. And really, I really, this is why I do not recommend um, doing something like this, but just in case, you know, you really care about your files, then yeah, I would. Um, so Windows Vista here has kept my um, user settings and all of my files. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert um, my I'm going to insert a um, my ISO for Windows 7 now um, you're gonna have to use um, a 32-bit a ISO and yeah run setup.exe continue um, you're gonna have to use a 32-bit um, ISO for this but it should be it should work um, if you use the right ISO and you know they don't really provide these for download anymore but you can find them although I mean I would be very careful when you're downloading these ISOs I would always scan them for viruses and keyloggers um, I do not want the updates so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to select Windows 7 professional so I can upgrade without losing my files in my user settings um, Accept the license terms. Upgrade. So I have installed all drivers. Of course, you don't need to install graphics drivers um, for when you're doing v Windows Vista. 
but I mean I did install graphics drivers because it came with VMware tools which installed all of my other drivers except for the um, Ethernet driver but I guess that can be resolved on an actual computer much easier than it can with VMware so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to go to my player in removable devices um yeah so my ISO is set on my Windows 7 ISO I think if I just click on it to install Windows 7 install now then I can just start the setup and from here we're going to upgrade to Windows 7 Professional um, we might have to upgrade to SP1 which will uh, know Windows 7 Professional next um, accept the license terms upgrade so it's checking the compatibility right now um, and I will come back to this video once the installation is complete so now I've installed Windows 7 it has kept my user settings and my files um, over here um, we have our install and this Windows compatibility report this Windows compatibility report was saved from Windows Vista and of course my Ethernet does not work but everything else works because it did trans over, uh, transfer over the drivers um, so now because I don't have service pack 1 I'm not sure how this is gonna work um, I'm going to try to install Windows 10 but if I do need service pack 1 then I guess I will have to install it but luckily I do have the installer um, I'm gonna run setup.exe and hopefully hopefully by the time that hopefully this will just work um, just remember guys you know always make sure to reinstall your drivers uh, not right now next I'm not sure how it how well this is gonna work it might not work um, I might get some compatibility stuff and because Windows um, Windows upgrading is a bit schneid in the in the way that like um they handle the updates you know you can't update from oh okay so so I've um, entered in my product key um and now it's gonna make sure I'm ready to install and I think by this point in time I should have you know um, been able to get through the installation without having to install um, service pack 1 if that's the case then yeah that's great um, if it's not though then actually I'm not actually I'm not sure if I installed service pack 1 so I'm going to check uh, or if service pack 1 is oh service pack 1 is installed so um, change um, keep personal files and apps install um, so it's gonna install Windows 10 and we're now in Windows 10 everyone um, and we have kept our file for Windows compatibility report um, however because I am actually not um, I am not using an activated version of Windows I, I used a KMS key to activate it my profile pic is gone but I assure you if you use a legit key then your profile pic will will still show up so that's just me using a KMS key because I, I'm not actually going to use a real key for something like this um, and yeah we do keep a lot of our old settings for example we keep the Windows Media Player in the taskbar like Windows 7 had um, and yeah we we have a bunch of programs and that's pretty much it that's how you upgrade from Windows Vista or Windows XP to Windows 10 without losing your files for real this time sorry about last time yeah I really don't want to make clickbait videos I might actually take it down um, but I'm sorry about that last time you know I thought it would be funny but I guess I guess I, I had bad taste thank you for watching and see you next time